Lots of hoops action over at UNLV this week. The Running Rebels and Lady Rebels both playing home games this week. The Running Rebels are getting ready to host Fresno State tonight, looking to build off their San Jose win. Our Fox size Paloma Villacana has been covering and traveling with the team all season. And Paloma, the Running Rebels' last home game was a blowout against Air Force. So how will UNLV be looking to respond tonight? Yeah, l last week it was it was dead silent in here in that blowout loss, 90 to 58 to Air Force. And the players told me, you know, that wasn't them. That wasn't UNLV basketball. You know, they they didn't prepare well. They didn't prepare the way that they usually do against the Falcons. So a big response from the guys on the road at San Jose State on Saturday, uh, 77 to 65 win on the road. And the best part of traveling with the team and the best part of the Reb Zone is sitting down one on one with the players and coaches and getting. To to really know their stories and as they continue to battle every single night in the Mountain West, they really rely on the assistant coaches to bring that energy and bring that fire on the bench. On the Reb Zone this weekend, we sat down one on one with Running Rebels assistant coach Barrett Peary to hear more about his story. DJ! DJ coach Peary's passion for the game is infectious. You can see it on his face, in his work ethic, on and off the court, he loves what he does. Well, I've always said that, you know, being a basketball coach, I've never really had a job. Um, I was going to, uh, I, I never planned on being a basketball coach, but as I got older in college and, and my playing career was ending, I was like, wow, I'm not going to be on a basketball team next year. And so that's kind of how it all started. And one thing led to another and several jobs and several moves and awesome places and experiences. 28 years later, here we are. Coach Perry has three decades of coaching experience with UNLV, Texas Tech, Portland State, and many other stops. Perry was also the head coach at College of Southern Idaho for three seasons, leading his team to two national tournaments. His relationships with the Golden Eagles helped land the Rebels' X Factor this season, Rob Whaley Jr. Yeah, you know, it was kind of neat. I'd been gone for years and years, and then a great friend of mine, one of my best friends, Jeff Reinert, who's the head coach at CSI now, um, had been coaching Rob, and he was always talking about Rob when he signed him when he was in Salt Lake, um, and then he came up to Twin Falls, and I got to follow him and watch him. And his freshman year, he was growing in the program and doing better and better, and then he really had a breakout spring and summer after his freshman year, and that was when us and several people jumped on board with him, and then it was a, a big recruiting battle to get him to come to UNLV. As the Rebels continue to battle in the Mountain West, this season has been special for Coach Perry with his daughter on campus, Kennedy, who plays volleyball at UNLV. Yeah, you know, that's been really neat to actually bump into my daughter every day, especially when she'd been away from us for a couple years uh, in school in Idaho and then transferring to UNLV. Um, you know, having texts and calls from her, her just showing up in my office on random times. And it's not just to ask for money, it's actually to come and say hi to me. So uh, it's been really neat. And you know, she's, she's a fun kid and she's a kid that really has been invested in what I do since I can, you know, since she was zero inches high, you know, she's always been all in with it. And so it's been fun to have her around. The Runnin' Rebels are really a tight family. It's been so incredible to see how hard the Runnin' Rebels work together. Uh, the coaches really, really give it their all every single night. So we're seeing uh, the Runnin' Rebels play really hard right now. They scored uh, a big second half against San Jose State, shooting 80% from the field in that second half. So Kevin Kruger wants to see that same aggression they came out with on the road in San Jose tonight at the Thomas & Mack when they play Fresno State at 8 p.m. We'll have more from the Runnin' Rebels live here at the Thomas and Mac pregame. We'll send it back to you in the studio.